Hey guys, what is going on and welcome everybody back to Mob of the Dead Remastered. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not Blood of the Dead. This is not even Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2. This is straight up a remaster for Black Ops 3 Zombies. And today, we're going to be running through the entire Easter egg. And there's also been some new Easter eggs added, which we're going to be doing as well. And all around, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this map. So, this is, uh, prepare to feast your eyes. This is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, we spawn in the classic Mob of the Dead spawn room. And, uh, so this is going to play very different to blood of the dead if you're if you're you know familiar with black ops 4 and uh, you've played that map this is more akin to the black ops 2 version and uh, i i'd say like as far as i'm concerned this is the closest you can get to a faithful remaster in 2019 like it's absolutely great so today like i said guys you're gonna see the entire game of doing this easter egg from start to finish i hope you guys enjoy and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and drop a like for me. That'd be awesome. Subscribe, of course, if you are new around here as well and you want to see more zombies content. That will be uh, that will be amazing. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. But guys, this is uh, this is something else. All of the classic like regular Mob of the Dead features are here, uh, with a couple things missing. So earlier in this uh, patch, I guess for this map. So this is a custom map made by Shifty Gamer and Jerry, and and I want to give a big shout out to those guys and everybody who was involved with making this because there was a huge list uh, and there was a really big team putting this together. So big ups to all those guys. But there was there was a Shiv knife that originally you had as a secondary to this, but they removed that. Uh, I think due to reasons because the you know there there was uh, some issues that was causing within the map. But we have pretty much all of the regular features that we have from OG Mob here in the starting room and some new features that you guys think I, I, I think you're going to like. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be running through all of that really quick. Um, I think what we should do... Mm, it is only round two. I was going to say we could start the dog, which I guess we could. Um, yeah, maybe let's do that. Let's, let's go ahead and open that door. We'll start the dog with these given zombies that we have left on the round. And then I think we'll go ahead and grab the B23 armor when we're done. Um, but this is like the way that this looks the way that plays is absolutely phenomenal. It really is I'd say that if you were to picture What mob of the dead remaster would look like for zombies chronicles because obviously we didn't get it for that Um, I think this is is pretty close to what we what, to what we would be getting Um, the only difference is we have a lot of black ops 2 guns in this so and, and to be honest, I kind of prefer that. I, I like playing with the old school weapons in like this engine and the system. So I'm, I'm fully fine with that. But uh, this is going to play very, very differently to, to Classic Blood, which I haven't played Mob of the Dead originally in a while. So it'll be nice to actually actually play this map, but it, that isn't Blood of the Dead. You know what I mean? So uh, this should be, should be fun. Should be fun. Hopefully I remember literally everything we got to do. Because uh, I won't lie. It's been, it's been a little bit. Your boy's been retired for some time now. Okay, I think that's zombie three on that. We'll get the double points this round, and then we'll just we'll just fully rack up. Um, no, but this is this is great, and I cannot wait to show you guys everything. But we're gonna treat this like a regular Mob of the Dead run, and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Uh, and if it does, we can also head over to the uh, the new area that I really want to show you guys, because it's Mob of the Dead. But but you know, since this is a remaster, it's got a little twist to it. It's got a little spice to it, you know. Um, I think we need three... I think we need three more uh, zombies for the good boy here. The classic the classic good boy. We got to feed all three of them uh, and we'll get our tomahawks going. Now, for those of you wondering, I'm not going to be doing the redeemer. the uh, Which is the upgraded tomahawk. There's just no point. I feel like that'd be... I don't even know if it'd be working properly in this map. And it might be a little bit of a waste. What, what our goal is, is, is to do is do the main quest as quickly and as smoothly as possible here. So... If that involves not getting maybe some of this peripheral stuff, so be it. We will get the necessary things like the golden spork and all that. Okay, the box is not in Wardens. However, the key is here, so I think we're going to have to... I'm just trying to get as many points as I can here. But we're going to we're gonna grab the key, you can see, in all its shocky glory. Go ahead and snag that in just a sec. I want to make sure we got it down to one. Um, I think point maximization is really going to be the name of the game for us. I think it's truly, uh, truly what we want to put our efforts towards. Because, like, realistically, we could get this done on a super early round. Uh, we just need to have all the areas open. We need to have everything available. So, oh my god, the afterlife is so much nicer. So, in the, uh, the original patch... Oh god, that didn't work. I whiffed there. <laughs> in the original patch of this map, there was problems with the afterlife where you would take damage in afterlife. Like, the zombies would still be hitting you. And uh, it was basically impossible to accomplish anything... And then also, as soon as you come out of afterlife, the zombies would... You'd have no grace period. 
where they wouldn't attack you. Like, they'd be instantly right on your back as, as soon as you come out. So that's no fun. Um, so we got Speed Cola turned on. Yep, there we go. No mystery box here. So that means it's going to be in the cafeteria, which we're going to head to anyways. So we might as well go ahead and do that. But yeah, uh, much, much better since the patch has come out. And uh, that's that's why we're playing this again, honestly, because we're going to we're gonna see if this is fixed. And if it is, then I, I'd highly recommend, you know, giving this a try. It's great to be able to play this now with remastered graphics and everything uh everything going everything going pretty well so we're gonna get the this is gonna open up the shower area we don't need the key look at this man this is really this is really pretty i gotta say like congratulate like big ups to literally all who, who worked on this especially the visuals uh, i'm really impressed by i gotta say the visuals are very very impressive um i think it works really well for this map I, i'm I'm really surprised about how Blood of the Dead... It didn't flop. Oh, did I not grab the key? Oh, no, I didn't. Maybe I gotta go back and get that. Blood of the Dead didn't flop, but I will say... Blood of the Dead is... It's it's not even close to as... As far as, like, being legendary or a fan favorite as Mob. Um, and, and, I, and I guess I kind of figured that from... The, ooh, the trencher. What the heck? This is not in regular Mob of the Dead. This is brand new. Um, yeah, it's, it's not... It's not going to be as respected as Mob ever was, but that's okay. I, I think there's reasons for that. Uh, Blood of Dead has its place in the community. It's got its place in the storyline, but nothing really beats the uh, the classic, the classic counterpart. Good old Mob of the Dead. At least in my opinion, anyways. You guys can let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. But since this is all really set up now, we do have two afterlifes remaining this round. And it is only round four, so we should probably be able to do this no problem. Let's, uh, let's get that open, and then we'll go ahead and turn that thing on and get the first plane piece started. That, that's really going to be the, the majority of setting up is getting all these plane parts, um, but it should be pretty smooth. Get that on. There we go. Should be very, very smooth here, lads. Now, I have played this map uh, a couple months in the past, back when, back when it still had like a lot of issues. And I don't think I ever even completed the map just because of the Easter egg or like the problems that... We're associated with this. All right, here we go. Drives on. So this will be like legit. If we complete this, this will be my first time ever getting it done on this version. That'll be pretty fun. All right, here we go. Almost done. This is this is honestly not that bad. I think for some reason the zombie spawns seem to be really slow. <laughs> Look at this absolute onslaught, guys. The the lone zombie coming out of the barrier. I mean, he's a trooper. What can I say? What a guy. What a guy. Yeah, I think I might get rid of this trencher. I like it, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Isn't this from IW? Pretty sure the trencher is from Infinite Warfare, but... But, eh. But, eh. It's a cool gun. Uh, I, it just doesn't really belong in Mob, and it's kind of handling weird, to be honest with you. So, let's let's go ahead and get at least get a new gun. Whether or not we're going to ditch the trencher, I don't know. But we need to, we need to get a new gun. We'll probably get Jug turn on. Ooh, PDW. Nice. Uh, let's hit one more. Because why not? Because why not? The cafeteria area looks so pretty. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, double five sevens? Don't mind if I do. Uh, so here, here's one new area you guys can take a look at. Now, this door costs 30,000 points, and there's an elevator right there. So we're going we're gonna to come back to that in a little bit. Wait, what the heck? Is my sprint broken? Hello? Oh my god. It was like my sprint was broken there for a second. That was really weird. Like this one is uh this one's new. Or not new, but it's definitely not the one from BO2. Okay. Well, I think we need a thousand uh actually do we need two K points to get the door upstairs? I believe so. Don't wanna die there. That's a bit monka. Watch out for that. I'll grab that, uh, we got that beautiful blunder gap piece as well. I don't know if we're gonna build the acid gap, to be honest with you. I don't know if we'll need it. But better to have it not need it. You know what I mean? We'll just hold on to it in case. I'm pretty happy with my gun setup. Um, I shouldn't need anything else, at least for a little while. But we, we, uh, we will be coming back here, certainly, to at least hit for the Blundergat. If we can't get out of the box, you know, we can always just do the Reliable Skulls. But we will figure it out as we go along. I hear a couple more. Not really sure where they are. Uh, let's just head up to the door and they'll, they'll find our way to us eventually. But what I want to know from you guys in the comments is, do you prefer Mob of the Dead or do you prefer Blood of the Dead? And, and follow-up question to that, 
Let me let me know that, but also let me know let me know why that is. I know there's fans of both, and I w I want to know your reasoning is is why you prefer another map over the other. If you ask me, it, it's gotta be it's gotta be mob. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. To to be honest, I think. I think Mob was best designed as a Black Ops 2 map, and even though we're playing it in BO3 right now, and so far this is pretty good, like this is this is going really well. Uh, I I I still think at the end of the day, Mob was made for the Black Ops 2 systems. Kind of like kind of like how when they added Origins to BO3, like it's still great, it's still Origins, it's a, it's an awesome map, you know. But I I will say that I think it's played better on Black Ops 2. That's just my opinion. There are some maps that I think would only work for BO3 as well, like Shadows of Evil. I couldn't imagine being on BO4 or even being on BO2 for that matter. So, that's the only thing with like remasters that's kind of that's kind of weird is sometimes they don't quite they don't quite live up, or sometimes I think they're they're actually better. There are cases where the remaster is better, uh, also. So, don't get me wrong. Can you guys die? All right, we got enough we got enough points. We can head down to uh, Juggernaut. I should have all the afterlife I need to get everything done here. The question is, am I going to have enough points? That is the uh, that is the real question we have here, lads. The true one. The gondola works really nice. Look at this. This is so pretty. This is so good looking. Look at look at the docks area. Here we are, lads. Oh my gosh! Give us a look. Give us a peep. What the heck? Why is that dope? Bro, there's a mannequin back there. Dude, that's creepy. I don't like it. Yo, chill. Pretty pretty certain that's not there in, in original Mob of the Dead. But there you go. That's at least one thing that is brand new that you guys can see. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and finish the second dog here. And then I want to... After that, I think we should... We could get the last dock pieces here, I think. Maybe on maybe on two afterlifes we get everything. It's potentially. If we do this right, we can. So, we need to finish this dog and save a zombie this round. That is the... Whoa. You weren't supposed to do that. He, he, made a, he, made, he made a bad cut there. Wow. Wow. What a guy. This area does look a little... I, I can't tell what's quite... Oh, God. Don't die. This is, this is not good. There's something off about this area. Oh, my God. Can we just... Can we get some clutch in the comment section? There's something off about this area, and I think it's... I think it's that this this street is flat while it's like it's way more uh, uphill in in regular mob and also this is open in blood of the dead so that that's kind of bothering me <laughs> i'm always used to that being open okay okay we have way too many zombies we can we can spare a couple here is that a nuke yeah we're gonna let that pass i was actually really close glad we didn't die i'm gonna try to do this flawlessly that that is the goal here today guys if we can do this without any downs it'd be wonderful so don't sleep on me. Don't sleep on me. I believe we need two or three more zombies and we'll be good. One's pretty close. Oi. Oi, too many. Too many. Chat. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. I do not consent. Uh, we got up for Jug as well, so hopefully this is done. You done yet? Partner. We are going to actually need a lot of points this round. Because I need to open that door. Uh, and mm, we could maybe do the next one too. Don't know if we're going to have enough. We got one more straggler coming down here. The, the effects and like everything, it, it works really, really nicely in this map. Like the attention to detail, um, as you can tell just right in front of you, like the attention to detail with everything is pretty apparent. And that's something I appreciate when it comes to custom maps. They're like... I, I would tell you this. That's our second good boy done. I would tell you this. When it, when it comes to custom maps, a really good way to tell if one is good or not is based on if you... There's a certain feel or a certain look that you know you're playing custom map. If you can genuinely play a map and think at least for a little bit or, or, or if you're spectating it and it looks like it could be a Treyarch map, but you can't really tell the difference at the end of the day, in my opinion, that's a sign of a really good Zombies map. Um... Or at least uh, as far as custom maps go. And this falls under that category, I think. Like, you could play this... Maybe not to a hardcore Zombies fan. But you could play this to an average Zombies fan. And they'd be like, wow. They put they put Mob of the Dead in Black Ops 3. Like, look at this. It's even doing the little effect with the Juggernaut machine. That's awesome. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. This is great. Okay. Uh, so we got Jug feeling feeling pretty secure now. Uh, I believe I got that shield part earlier. You can't actually see the parts you've grabbed. It's kind of annoying. Um, but that's okay. Just want to make sure we have this. Okay, so we just need a couple more plane pieces. Yeah, pretty sh pretty sure we already picked up the uh, shield part as well. So we'll, we'll build the rest of that here in just a moment. Um, I think I can actually do the next plane piece while we're at it. But yeah, like, I I'd say if you show this to any average Zombies fan, they would fully think that this is a, re like, a Treyarch remastered map. There's nothing that gives it away, in my opinion. Um, for, at least for the most part. You know, it's, you know what's kind of funny? I didn't notice this until earlier. There's a mule kick machine here in the PhD, like, in the classic mob. But look, they also put a gobble gum machine hanging. It's kind of like a little... It's a little nod to the set. Yeah, we're, we're not getting the, the gumball machine back. All right, we're going to have to ditch at least one of these guns. We need ammo. Yeah, let's get the Tommy gun. It's kind of like a little nod that, yeah, we're, sh we're, we're sure as hell not getting the gumball machine in this map. It's kind of funny. The reason for it, I think, is is twofold, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, there are no gumballs, so there's no perkaholic. Nothing as far as Black Ops 3 guns are concerned. But the reason for that is, I think, is twofold. One, because, of course, Classic Mob of the Dead never had something such as gumballs. Never, never, never was even heard of. Right? Wasn't a thing. Is this open on Mob... This is bothering me, chat. Is this open on Mob of the Dead or is it just blood? I'm, I'm starting to confuse the two and it's it's actually bothering me. I think it's only blood, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, regular Mob doesn't have gum, so they're not going to put on here. But also, it's just a developmental problem. Um, the way that I understand it, like scripting for, for gumballs and custom maps is really hard to do. And so it would, it like gumballs basically would have broken this map. And, uh, I'd rather play a complete experience than have one broken with gumballs. You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm fully okay with them not being in here. All right. So we're going to get the engine out. We got to give this, uh, generator a yoink. Give that one a yoink. Head through the portal. This is, this is the Wraith portal, by the way, guys. Big ups, Apex Legends. Omega lol. And then yoink the final one. All right, cool. So there also is a shield piece in here, if I remember correctly. I'm retired, chat. Don't don't blame me. Yeah, there's a second one. Third one will be out this door. Oh, you know what? We can actually do the last piece as well. We can actually do the uh, final part here. That's good. Let's see where the shield part is, if it's in here. Now, I don't remember where this one is. Is it is it up in the tunnel? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hello? There we go. <laughs> I, at first, I thought it wasn't going to let me open the thing. I was a bit was a bit worried. There it is. Okay, so I think, yeah. All right. The zombie shield is fully ready. We'll put that together uh, when we go back to the other side. But for now, let's get, the, uh, let's get the code in. This is always a fun step. It's always a really fun step. Now, there are some new Easter eggs associated with this. Uh, six, zero, five. There are some new Easter eggs associated with this uh, shock panel here. So we might have to try those out a little bit later on. There we go. 605. Beautiful. It's going to release the thing. That falls in the water. Or at least down to the bottom thing. What, what, what I didn't realize what was happening. You know like in Blood of the Dead when you type in the code and then it releases the spork? I didn't realize it was literally just dropping it into the water and then you were fishing it out with the net. Like logically it makes sense but it never really clicked with me that's what was happening i never understood the connection until now that's so funny well i am uh, i am i have the actual big dumb the huge dumb I got the rigging. all right so that's the rope um all we need now is the engine which we've already unlocked and then the uh piece of the rooftop so that being said we should probably just end the round because we need more points we need we need a ton of points here we'll just uh we'll cut through the top portion of the map here to, to get back so far this is going well guys no downs uh weaponry isn't looking fantastic i would like some other things but aka blundergat if the, if the game would be so kind to me if not we'll have to not be lazy and go get it ourselves which i'm thinking might be what we have to do this is uh this is a problem this is a this is a problem here all right we're okay we're okay this would be a good spot to actually camp right here and just get a couple, rack up a couple kills. Now, I, I do got to save six for the dog, so let's keep that in mind. Oh, no. That's bad. No. This is so sad. Can you get points from these? Nope. 
Uh, that's a bummer. Um, all right. No worries. I need just a little bit more points to get up to the infirmary. Then we should be good. We'll get the rooftop open, all that, all that good stuff. I'm really enjoying this. And you know what? I will say, you know, like, there'll be some custom maps that try to be a remaster, but they just don't quite play the same. If you've played custom maps and you know exactly, you know exactly what I mean. But I will say that, oh, Jesus. Hold on. I'll get back to you on that. I, I will say that when as as far as like progression and everything, this plays almost identical to original Mob of the Dead. You you can tell by round eight, like I'm optimizing and stuff and I'm getting stuff done, but I'm never like I'm never too powerful for the game, nor is it ever unfair on me. You know, it doesn't it doesn't go both ways. So I'm pretty happy about that. With the consistency of the of the way the the gameplay is. Really appreciate it. And you'd, you'd be surprised about how much, like, fine-tuning that comes down to, like, on the designers of the map to make sure that happens. A lot goes on behind the scenes of making a good zombies map that, if it's working properly, you never notice it. But if it's broken, of, of course you notice it. So, right now, pr progression of this custom map is great. Identical to Mob the Dead. And, uh, could not, could not be more happy about it. All right, we should have enough zombies to finish this step. Or at least to uh, finish this dog. Let me go get our retrievers. And then I'm also going to head and uh, open up the rooftop with the last afterlife I have. We're progressing really nicely. Let's see if this last one will do it. If not, we got to probably flip around. Let's see if this last one is the one. Are you going to you gonna be done, good boy? You going to be done, good boy? Oh, he's done. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's save this last zombie. Um, we're going to open the rooftop and then head over to grab the tomahawks. Now, what we should do as soon as we get to the Hamahawks, I, I think we should go for the Skulls. Because, I mean, I guess they are technically also an Easter egg. And I'm trying to do all the Easter eggs in this map, is, uh, like, for the most part. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that instead. Rather than just wasting points on the box. I'd rather use those for actual progression of the map. So, let's head down. We opened the double tap area, right? Yeah, we did. So, let's go grab that. But I just, I can't get over how nice this looks. I cannot get over how, how nice it looks. It, it, it truly feels like you just plopped Mob of the Dead straight into BO3. And I've got no complaints, really. I have no complaints at all. What the? Yo, look at this. Oh, my God. Bro. This is creepy. What? Is that the, is that the, the Shadows of Evil Pack-A-Punch thing in the back? Oh, but there's a Morgue City poster. Bro, this what what is this room? What is this on original mob? I don't remember what's back here. It's certainly not this. There's like a whole chat. Look at that. There's an entire like I think it's the pack a punch like ritual uh like circle, but also there's like there's like a pedestal right there. There's like a like a sacrifice like pedestal or something, and it looks like the mystery box from Shadows of Evil is right there too. I don't know. That room's freaky. It's making creepy noises down here, too, but check it out, ladies and gentlemen. The Hell's Redeemer. The bag has been secured. We have actually... Oh, God. I don't like that. Wait. It's like when I run by here. Ugh. What is that? It makes really ominous noises. Oh, it make... it's like, it like gave me chills. All right. Uh, but check it out. We secured the bag. We This isn't a barrier, I don't think. Um, so we have that, and now... We can go ahead and gather all the skulls. So we're going to head down to Jug and then get that because we got to get two at the docks. And uh, so let's grab this one out of spawn here. Hopefully I remember everything. There's one. That is that is a numero uno. The second one should be on the rooftop over here. Three and four. Uh, wh Actually, where is three? Holy crap. Hold on. I forgot. Where is the third? Because, oh, hold on, it's two at the docks. Oh, Warden's office, and then... Yeah, that's it. So this, Warden's, and then two at the docks, then we're good. We got Blundergat. What are we going to trade out, though? Should we ditch the Tommy Gun, or should we ditch the PDW? I kind of want to keep the PDW. Here we go. There's another. That's two. I kind of want to keep the PDW. Some about, some about this gun, man. Some about this gun just gets me. It just gets me. You know? That might have to be the combo. PDW plus uh, plus Blundergat. That's like a winning formula right there. I mean, am I right? 
Actually, while we're back here, I'm going to look for the acid again. Oh, my. Bro, there's so much detail in this room. Look. You know what these pictures are? Those are, uh, if you go in Shadows of Evil and you, you look down. Oh, my God. There's so much detail. This is amazing. If you, uh, if you go to Shadows of Evil and there's like, there's like all these pictures of what looked like to be real people. Maybe like people at Treyarch or something. But looked like to be real people nonetheless. And, and like their portraits are, are like plastered everywhere. It's kind of weird. But yeah, they're down there. And uh, those, uh, those textures have been put into this map. There's so much like additive on this that... Oh, I didn't buy that door. No. Y'all also, you know what I just realized, guys? We've not had a Brutus yet. It is round eight, and we've not seen a single one at this point. So, uh, what I'm thinking is, he he'll, he might spawn next round. I feel like it's inevitable. So we gotta we gotta be we gotta be waiting for that. I feel like let's get the blunder gap first to prepare for him. All right, let's see if I can hit this one one try. I always have trouble with this one. I think I missed it. Hold on. Maybe maybe I'm too far under it. Maybe right here. No. Uh, let's get let's get let's. <laughs> Gosh, I always suck at that one. Let's get the one down here first. Can I hit it from here at the docks? Should be like right there. Yep, got it. Okay, so yeah, that's the next one. I'm gonna assume I already have it. Cause, yeah, yeah. Let, let's uh, let's just go with that. If you already had it, then I literally just sat there for like 10 minutes throwing my tomahawk at nothing. <laughs> huge, absolutely huge. That last one was a great throw. And so if that doesn't work, I'm gonna be kind of kind of upset. Kind of upset here. Now, can we hit this one is the question. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I guess one of those... I don't I don't know. The Blundergat has risen from the dead. I guess one of those hit, but it wasn't really clear. It, the skull didn't come back. So I don't know. I guess I just wasted my time. There's a... There's a... Like a thing here. Hold on. Do you see this? Hold on. I want to see that picture. I don't recognize that. Look at that thing on the wall. Look, I'm going to take you back here. Alcatraz Island. Spect. Gosh, if I had somebody to hold it, you know what's killing. I'm gonna kill him anyways. What is this? Okay, so it's like. Oh, I remember these pictures. I remember some of these. Got the afterlife symbol in there. Wow, that's really nice. That's a that's a really nice touch. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, so yeah, alright guys, the plane is built. I think what we should go ahead and do before we go, though, is get speed cola at least. Especially considering we have a blunder gat. Uh, speed cola is muy importante. Very, very important for those of you who aren't cool enough to understand that. So, we'll go grab that. And we'll be on our way. Now, that'll be the... Uh-oh, I hear Brutus. Oh, no. Hold me. I need an adult. I need an adult, chat. I hear him. Where is he? He's, like, stomping through. Should probably just go rinse him with this blunder gat. There he is, there he is. <laughs> Bro. One tap, one tap with the headshot. You'll love to see it. Brutus who? <laughs> Alright, that's what that's uh that's what we like to see here. Let's try to get as many points as we can before we go. Oh gosh. Maybe with without dying, by the way. Probably this is PC, so they're kinda they're they're closer than they actually appear most of the time. I saw something behind that bear. Did you see that? Hold on. I'm going to check that out in just a minute. Oh, that's what it... Oh, that's cool. Dude, that's cool. That's the lockdown effect. Oh my god, that's actually really nice. Tell me why that looks better than regular Mob of the Dead. That looks way better. Does Brutus lock stuff down in blood? Yeah, he does, but it like... Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> it's kind of bad that I had to ask if he, uh, if he did that. That looks cool. I like that effect a lot. So watch, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna waste all my money on it, but it's okay. And we'll be on our way. So look, check it out. If you've never played Mob, you played Blood. This area is where you go to the Warden's house, but this has always been locked off on the original map. And so it, it is kind of weird seeing that we cannot go out there. But uh, this is now explored area when it comes to Blood of the Dead. That's pretty cool to see. Um, so I assume that effect is gonna be gone now. Actually, let's give these a life. I'm gonna build a plane. Let's go, we're about to have our, yeah, it's gone. That was, that was a sick effect. I know I'm kind of overhyping that, but that was cool. Let's go ahead and build a plane, and uh, we're going to be zooming. Be absolutely zooming out. Bro, these are these textures are so good. The effects and just the the way it's put together is so... It's so pristine. The presentation's awesome. 
Now, here's a question. Can we do this little glitch? Oh, yeah, we can, but I'm stuck. Oh, now I can't turn. It's all right. The plane's going to take off. When uh, Back on Mob of the Dead, when you would prone on the plane, and then they never fixed it. You'd prone and, like, move around. You could, like, see your entire body. I can, You can still kind of do it, but, yeah, I can't, can't move at this point. Uh-oh, there's the bridge, lads. Here we go. Oh, uh, no. Aw. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Big, big quotes, lads. That didn't look like that high of a fall, to be honest. That was like, that was like 10 feet max. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're here. No, there goes the plane. <laughs> this is so sad. Can we get 50 gifted subs in chat, please? Wow. Yo, the, the bridge looks pretty, man. Guys, check it out. This is the area that Blood of the Dead never got to saw. Never, never got to saw. Never got to see. <laughs> This is the one that we never saw on the map. It's it's so depressing because like, this is one of the iconic features uh, when it comes to Mob of the Dead, and and to not have it. Oh my God! Hey there, to not have it in blood is kind of a disgrace. This blunder guy is overpowered. Holy crap! But it looks absolutely gorgeous on uh, on this. Let me just say that. Okay, here. Let's uh, let's get five thousand, and we'll we'll pack a punch the. I think I think we should probably pack a bunch of the PDW first so we can just get easy points for the uh, the old blundy here. The big blundy. I think that's the move. How good are our tomahawks? Seem to be doing some work. I respect it. Respect it a lot. Alright. Almost enough. I'm trying to trying to go hard as I can with these double points still active. Fifty more. There we go. So upgrade the PDW, uh, and then we will stay one more round in order to get the uh, other upgrade, or get this upgrade as well. All right, cool. Check it out. Check it out. The predictive death wish. Oh boys, this camo. This camo gets me. I know they. I know they added the afterlife camo in Black Ops Four recently. But if yeah, oh, this is thumbnail game right here. Look at this. Try and get a good angle. This is thumbnail status, guys. Beautiful. Trying to get a good shot. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually probably gonna use it for the thumbnail. Uh, I know they added afterlife camo inside of BO4, but to be honest with you, to be honest with you, it, it feels, I don't know, it feels like something, it feels like something's different about it. Is that just me? Like at least the, at least the green one, or uh, the the blue one I like. That's what I meant to say. The, the blue, the blue one's really nice, but. Since it's like a reactive camo, I think it's like a green and purple version. I don't know. Something's like off about it. But if I could keep it on the blue forever, I would. That was my uh, my absolute favorite camo back in Black Ops 2. It was only, it was in the multiplayer as well. It wasn't even it wasn't even a zombies camo, because the uh, the actual mob version was this orange like reddish one, and so you never had the the bright blue one that we have now in uh, in Bo4. Kind of weird. Kind of weird, isn't it? It's also safe to say that the Shadows Vuel Pack a Punch camo is almost. I think it's. I think they're almost identical to the mob ones, the original ones. I'm not really sure, but I think that's pretty pretty accurate. This is freaky. This is actually freaky. Uh, but dude, check out check out the chairs, man. Oh my god, there's there's something spooky about this bridge, bro. But we got we gotta get the we gotta get the hell out of here. All right, we're dipping. We're gone. See you later, fellas. <laughs> we outie. All right, so next, uh, so we've ridden the plane once. Now we need to go ahead and get the golden spork. Yeah, so we got we to gotta go knock the poster in the back and get the golden spork. So far, this is going really, really... Oh, there's a bonus in here. Wow. It's so nice of you. I didn't know they put bonuses there for this map. That's cool. That's really nice. That's so nice of them. All right. Uh, I'm feeling much better with upgraded guns. Now, the only thing I want to do is get perks. Uh, and they also removed the perk limit on this map so we can get, we can get whatever we want. Which is really, really nice. So let's open this up here. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go in Afterlife. Now, hopefully everything with this works properly. We need to go back here. And the Golden Spork should be on the ground. Somewhere around yonder. Wait, is it? Well, where is it? It's like right here. It's supposed to be. Oh, right here. Got it, got it. Okay, that was really hard to see. 
It, there was no audio prompts or anything. That was really difficult to see, but we got it. We got it, chat. We're good. We're absolutely fine. Okay, here we go. Blunder got upgrade, lads. By Trolloc Withering. Oh, look at that thing. It looks so sick in that. Take your converted weapon. Beautiful. I said I wasn't going to go for it this game, but I think we actually have to. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad we got it now. I love the sweeper, though. One of my favorite guns in, in COD Zombies history, just, just as a whole. But... Man, this this definitely takes it up a notch. It's kind of it's kind of a shame that it's really not that good in Blood of the Dead. The Magma Gat is just so much better, and it's kind of depressing because there's, unless I'm wrong, there's no really good reason to run the Asagat over the Magma because there's no Easter egg steps that you can't do without it, and there's there's no discernible difference as far as I can tell, like when it comes to gameplay. So yeah, I I don't know. Magma Gat's always better for that map, but that's that's something I appreciate about Mob. You can run whatever you like, and they all have their advantages and disadvantages, you know? We need to ride the plane one more time, uh, and then that should be it. Now, after that, the map is not over. As soon as we uh, we finish the egg, the map is not over. There's one, there's a secret area that you guys need to see. It is a it is a very, very huge pog. Very huge pog indeed. This is going this is going good, and I hope you guys are enjoying this over at, over at home. Hope you guys like watching this. All right, we're going to start the blood. Or the blood? Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of blood in there. It's like it's like it's like rippling. There's so much. It's like an ocean. You chill. So now we see to get kills done. I don't know. I don't know what cue we're gonna be looking for though, because uh, in the original map, there's not a there's there's like a little audio cue that'll tell you when you're done. I don't know if there's gonna be one in this map. I guess we'll find out. If not, let's just do like a round or two, and then our uh, our spork should be upgraded. And as soon as that's good, we can finish this Easter egg, really. Just gotta ride the plane once more. Should probably stay in the back, shouldn't I? At least back in the in the cell. Try to I need to kill Big Man first, is what I gotta do. Hey, come here, big man. Come here, big man. Get melted. Get melted. Yeah, I think I think a round will be good. Uh because I'm not sure how many kills it is in uh what it's supposed to be. But we will find out. Oh my God! Look, I, I'm a, I, I'm tempted to leave that there. That this could be a cool, cool thumbnail as well. That looks so sick. I'm actually just gonna leave it because <laughs> number one, I already have the perk. But that looks that looks so dope. Oh, we can also buy Deadshot while we're back here. So hopefully this is done. Uh, if not, I think we might need a little bit more kills. Are y'all done? Oh, it is. I think it popped up right there. Oh, we got it. Nice. Let's see if it works. Hey. And this will work until round 30. I think 34. After 34, it stops being a one hit. Oh, my God, guys. I feel so OP. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. Chat, drop a like if, if, you've, ever, uh, if you've ever loved, if you've ever played with the Golden Spork. It's amazing. Seriously, one of the coolest weapons in the game. Now, they, they have the Golden Spork knife or whatever it is in Blood of the Dead. Uh, but the quest to do that... Literally, like, I'm not even kidding you. Is literally longer than the entire Easter egg itself. Like, I, I've not, I've not done it yet. I've not got that weapon in in uh, Blood of the Dead. It's like, it's kind of like getting the Infinity Gauntlet, but like as a as a knife. You literally get stones and you put it on the thing and you do like an upgrade and you get trap kills and there's a lot to it, man. It's it's like longer winded than the main quest line. And it's just for a melee weapon. And I don't know if anybody's tested it yet. Um, what I mean by that is, is, like, I don't know if anybody's fully found out what round it one hits to. If somebody in the comment section knows, I, I would love to know. Because I genuinely am not sure. But, yeah, it's wild, man. It's wild. Is this it, boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Things you love to see, that's, that's the one. So, that's all the... This is going to be the last plane ride. And from here on out, the numbers should be flipping as soon as we get back. Because we have the Golden Spork. Uh, we don't need to do the Redeemer. I know for a fact you don't need to do that. We've done everything else, as far as, I'm, as far as I can tell. That should be it. God, I can't get over that. Why is it so pretty? It looks awesome when it's just like on a perk, too. Um, yeah, it looks, really, it looks really good. Very, very stunned. Now, getting that 30k might be a little tricky. But considering how set up we are, I don't think it'll be that bad. Now, because that that's how much that's how many points you need to open that door. Uh, but I promise there's something truly special back there. Something truly, truly special you're gonna want to see. 
So let's head down here. The moment of truth. We're going to check the tunnel. That should that should be everything because we've read the plane three times. Golden Spork been acquired. Uh, have the Vitrolic Withering. Got the Tomahawk. Don't think, don't, don't think we're missing anything. Yes, lads, it's happening. There it is. There it is. Wow, those are flipping really fast. You hear the noise? Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're good to go. Let's get to the end of this round. And we will... Get, now... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, we might need to do two takes on this. Because I think you can only get maybe two or three numbers if you're lucky on one afterlife if nobody's reviving you. So that being said, uh, yeah, we might need to be a little careful. Okay. I believe we got the final zombie. I believe that's it. Okay. It's code time. It is code time, ladies and gentlemen. So we do have three afterlife. So we're, we're easily going to be able to get these in. And uh, what's good is that, you know, it is pretty generous with how much time you get to do everything. So that's good. Um, I just hope we can do these pretty smoothly here. All right, let's do this, guys. So we need 101, then 872 next. All right, chat. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's do 101, 872. This is so good. I missed this. One. Then you get O. One. One. Here we go. We need 872. Can we get a third code in? Maybe. 72. Uh, you know, let's not risk it. I'm going to res myself and go back in. Yeah, it is kind of fading pretty fast now. Let's go back in. Oh, God. No, no, not, not like this. Not like this. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, and then we need 386 and 386 and 481. 386, 386, 4, wait, 386, 481, yep, okay, so then 3, 8, 6, oh, this will be so cool, I can't wait, all right, and 4, 8, 1, there we go, lads, that's every code, cool, so that that should that should spawn us the audio quotes. I'm actually not sure up to this point because I don't know what happens. What happens here? Do we get the audio quotes? Oh my god! Yes, boys. Yes, boys. Oh my lord! I didn't see the drop, but we got it. Okay, I'm gonna. I, I would try to turn this up, but I don't think I can very well. You guys have already seen this before. If you've not heard the radios you want to, obviously you can go ahead. But we're going to grab all these radios. And guys, it's not over yet. We're going to get into the secret area here in just a minute. And that'll be the finale. Oh, yeah, no, they are here. That's awesome. That's awesome. That one's not going away for some reason, but that's kind of funny. Dude. The voices are very quiet, but I think that's due to the, the way the volume's balanced. But just like, just look at this. So the next one should be up here? I think. Yeah, next one's right here. Uh-oh. We're getting close to the roof, laddies. Wow. Man, this is so sick. I, I want to I wanna take this time to give a really big props Really, really big props to all the map designers. I know there was a ton of people involved with this. I know it's had its rough patches and stuff. Um, but I've never been this far on the map. And, and I don't think anybody ever really could get here without the new patch that's been been released. That's fixed everything and allowed this to happen. So, this is so good. Thank you so much, guys. And I, those of you at home, I hope you're enjoying this. We're about to wrap things up here. But we're, we, you still have the best is still yet to come. The best is yet to come, my friends. Okay, then we then we go up here. Oh, thumbnail game. Hold on, I actually need to make sure I get a get an image of this. Yeah, that's a good thumbnail. That's a good thumb. Am I missing one? I think it's up here, right? Yep, there it is. One more after this, lads. Oh, look, it's a shifty letter. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's pretty cool. So that's uh, that's like one of the main map makers. And he's got his name on the letter. That's awesome. Instead of having the M on the letter, it's a shifty. That's cool. All right, final one. Oh, bro. The plane is not here. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, we're obviously in solo. We can't do the ending. Uh, the ending, you just, like, fight each other. But, guys, I have something better. 
We need to go get 30,000 points. And then I will show you the finale. Can you, like, keep picking these up? I'm, I wonder. I wonder if they stay there forever. I wonder. I wonder, chat. Let's see here. Nope, they do go away. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys in just a second back at home. And uh, we're going to go once we get 30k points. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay, guys, so that wasn't too painful. I went and got 30k just the past couple rounds. And uh, it is now time to go ahead and open up these secret doors. So check this out, guys. This is not in Mob of the Dead, nor is it in Blood of the Dead. But in the remaster, it is. So we have a secret room here. We're going to call up the elevator. I've always wanted to go in this room in Mob of the Dead, and now we finally get the chance. Here we go, boys. Elevator's cooling down. I think it should be ready, actually. Come on. There we go. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. We're descending. Look at this. Chat. Guys, look where we are. This is, this is the laboratory. This is the laboratory under Alcatraz that... Look. Check it out. Rustman. Uh, I think it's... They had Marlton there. And then Misty. So, Stuhlinger's missing. Um, got the little Richtofen head here. Got a bunch of... Got a bunch of scientific equipment. It sounds really spooky down here as well, but... Oh, sta oh Stamina Up's here. Of course, I don't have points for it. I don't have it. Oh, so Stamina Up is in this map. Um... Guys, this is what the this is what the laboratory is supposed to look like, as far as I can tell. Like, I, I I like the one in Blood of the Dead, but you know, remember what it said at the time? Like the 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 laboratory is under Alcatraz, and I think this is kind of what that meant to me. Is is something more like this? Like the I don't know the one that we have in Blood of the Dead is kind of just in the basement of some inconspicuous warehouse. You know what I mean? So I I don't know. I think this one's a little bit this is a little bit creepier. It's got a lot to do with the noise in here for sure, but man. This is very scary. And what's great about it is that it's fully immune from zombies in here. So you can come down here. It's like a place you can come down here and, like, chill. If you want to get away from zombies. It's it's very, very, very sick. But, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mob of the Dead Remastered. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, let me know in the comment section what you like about it. And drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are brand new before you go. Make sure to go ahead and do that. Don't forget. And uh, I will be having plenty more custom zombies and a lot more zombies content coming out on this channel. So make sure to stick around for that. But, man... Also, can we get a can we get a thumbs up for just the absolute lads that put this whole thing together? It's an incredible map, man. It really is. So big ups to them. Um, what a what a fantastic experience. But guys, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna wrap things up here. Thank you for coming out and enjoying the video. Appreciate you guys very much. And I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Take it take it easy, guys, and peace out.